I decided that Gainesville needs some more murals, and uh, I thought in this city, such a, with such a contemporary uh, populations, mostly students, and uh, with the University of Florida, we kind of had to have something more developed like this kind of art, contemporary art. Grove Street uh, Neighborhood Project is absolutely accident project that I never planned. Maria, who is the community leader who lives in this neighborhood, she approached me a year ago asking about a mural on one particular big wall that was in very bad condition and very visible, so really needed to be at least painted white and cleaned. And uh, I wanted to organize a mural there at that time, but I worked with 352 Walls and the city commission didn't approve it or we didn't have budget, so it wasn't possible to do it at that moment. So this year I had an artist from Jacksonville that uh, wanted to paint a mural. She was seeking for a wall, uh, not even artist fee or something, just for exposure and uh, experience and I decided to put those people together why don't us to paint this mural and once we finished it we got more interested people in neighborhood we got more walls and we got more artists hi my name is Rachel Summer I'm a muralist and illustrator so mural festivals are just a totally different game than painting a mural for a private commission um, there's a whole team involved and they want to curate your artwork and they have their own vision for what they want the space to look like. But it's also important to remember that it's still a public space and once the festival is over, the people that live in that neighborhood are the ones that are going to look at your artwork every day, like on their commute. And it's really important to be culturally sensitive and to add something that resonates with that community. Um, but a lot of artists would also disagree with that and they might argue that art is about personal expression and, and that it can't be curated by someone else and, you know, it's up for debate. It, it just depends on the setting. For an artist working full time, there's actually only a small percentage of time spent painting. Things like editing and marketing and writing contracts and applying for shows and you know, even normal stuff like family time and bills, it probably only leaves like 20% of the time left to create. And I think that most artists need to be somewhat of an introvert to make the time and space to get into the painting zone where painting is effortless and exciting. But kind of like an author or a writer, an artist needs content to make interesting artwork. So for me that involves going out and traveling and listening to stories and having adventures so I can bring that back into my studio and put life experience onto a canvas. Studio work can be like meditation for an artist, you know, like it's quiet, it's your own space. It's really a space to just work and, and to just like let your mind go free and, and to just paint and just really dive into that and it can be really special like you know different for me different content and mediums spark different thoughts like painting can be very smooth like when I'm blending different colors or adding details I'm more relaxed and you know I just go into like a flow space or a meditative headspace which is like gold to me <laughs> that's like where, where I want to be um so yeah the mural is of a dancer and she's in a very like I guess extroverted pose like it's a very power pose that she's standing in but um, she has a cage on her head and and she's just found this key the keys dropping she's just opened this cage and she has these birds coming out which I mean I don't like to say that each artwork has like a concrete meaning because I like it to be open to interpretation for anyone who looks at it. But for me it's like uh, maybe she's letting go of the negative thoughts um, or it could be that, I don't know, she has two like opposing personalities and she's like letting those both go and it's just her her bare bones that's left, her soul or whatever. <laughs> But I mean, it's totally open to interpretation. Like, I, I don't want it to have like a concrete meaning. 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 Meaning.
meaning 